Hey guys, this is the Green Warrior 291. Before the before this video starts, um, I do want to apologize. There's no gameplay in this one. All of any attempt I've tried from this moment for me to re-record all my stuff. I lost the first video of my friend and I recording it. I got mad because we worked real hard. Luckily, we have the second video we recorded together. Um, as for the first, I retried it, but my phone's being stupid, so I have to do a different method. This is the only time I'm doing this. Don't worry. It's just, it's fun that it's just a few cutscenes, but enjoy. It is the start for a birth by sleep, so enjoy. Anyway, please give a like down below. I, I will do a better video next time. Alright. This world is just too small. see an empty world like a prison i imagine you will be right at home who's there But this is... Why are you in my heart? Yeah. That was my light. But my heart is fractured. And now... The little I have left is slipping away. Home? Open the door.
Keyblade. A meteor shower! Wow! Why does it seem so... familiar? Give me a break, Aqua. Then, you hopeless sleepyhead. You know, you should have at least brought a blanket. But... did I dream that place up? It really felt like I'd been there before, looking up at the stars. <laughs> Except you've always lived here with us. Yeah... I know. Hey, Aqua. Hmm? You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? Hmm. Well, they say... That every star up there is another world. Huh? Oh. Tara. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, Ven. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now! You're too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid! <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Tara, you and I have our Mark of Mastery exams tomorrow. I made us good luck charms. Uh, whoa. Here. I get one, too? Of course. One for each of us. Yeah.
Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. And the fruit represents an unbreakable connection. So as long as you and your friends carry good luck charms shaped like it, nothing can ever drive you apart. You will always find your way back to each other. Technically, I think you're supposed to make them with seashells. <laughs> but I did the best with what I had. Oi, sometimes you are such a girl. Hey, what do you mean sometimes? So this isn't a real good luck charm? Well, that's yet to be seen. But I did work a little magic on it. Really? What? <laughs> An unbreakable connection. Hey, uh, we're gonna head back. Yeah, me too. Together. Always. That would be the last night we ever spent beneath the same stars. Mickey, I cannot shake the feeling something terrible is about to transpire. Hmm? Today you will be examined for the mark of mastery. Not one, but two of the Keyblades chosen stand here as candidates. But this is neither a competition nor a battle for supremacy. Not a test of wills, but a test of heart. Both of you may prevail, or neither. But I am sure our guest, Master Xehanort, did not travel all this way to see our youngest prospects in years fall short of the mark. I trust you are ready. Yes. yes. Then let the examination begin. about me. You two focus on the exam. But Ven, you're in danger here. Go wait in your room. No way. I've been looking forward to this. Seeing you two become masters. I'm not gonna miss it now. He could take care of himself. He's been out there training just as hard as us. Yeah. Stay sharp, Ven. That was unexpected. But one must keep a still heart even in the most trying of circumstances. It was an excellent test, one I chose to let unfold. Which brings us to your next trial. Now, Terra and Aqua, 
the two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin! <laughs> We have deliberated and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both performed commendably. However, only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. Terra, you fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. But there is always next time. That is all. Aqua, as our newest Keyblade Master, you are entitled to certain knowledge. Please wait here for further instruction. Hey. Tara, I'm sorry. The darkness, where did it come from? What do you make of Ventus? He ain't gonna cut it. Somebody's got to break that loser in. Not here, you won't. I have to keep up appearances. I know that. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. <sighs> Sorry. But I need some time alone. Better hurry, Ventus. Huh? Who are you? Or you'll never see Terra again. What? Get real! I can see Terra anytime I want. Like right now? He's leaving you behind. And by the time you catch up, you'll be a different person. Look, whoever you are, you don't know the first thing about Terra. Me and him will always be a team. Trying to pick a fight or what? Now oh, grow up. Is that what you call friendship? You'll never know the truth unless you go out and look for it yourself. Come on, what could you possibly know when you're stuck here, looking at nothing but what's in your tiny world? It's okay.
Yeah. <laughs> 